Good morning, Toros. I'm Crow. And I'm Ash. And this is Toro TV. The talent show is today at 7 p.m. Come have a great time at one of Mountain View's best activities. Only $5 at the door. Proceeds to benefit the Mountain View Scholarship Fund. Hola amigos, the Spanish club invites you to come to room 201 this Friday during second lunch. We will play Loteria and listen to live music. Come have fun and make new amigos. Nos vemos! Do you like butterflies? Want to see more on campus? Going to the bookstore? Then donate to the Environmental Club's Milkweed Fund and help increase the monarch population. Environmental Club meets every Wednesday, first to our time in room SA3. Hope to see you there. Juniors and seniors, next Tuesday, a rep from Benedictine University's Mesa campus will visit Mountain View during fourth hour and lunch to meet with students who would like to learn about the programs they offer, life on campus, and more. Stop by to learn about their Mesa Community Award that offers 3000 per year to graduates of high schools in Mesa. Sign up for the visit in the Career Center. Seniors, are your parents, grandparents, or great-grandparents veterans or active duty military? Are you involved in community service? Are you looking for ways to help pay for college? If you answered yes, then stop by the Career Center to find out about some scholarship opportunities offered by the American Legion. Applications are available to, for interested students. Calling all Mountain View students! We all have those old jeans in our closet that we don't wear anymore. The pile of jeans we've outgrown, or maybe that just weren't in fashion anymore. All they do is make up space. Luckily, we have an easy and helpful solution for that problem. For the next couple weeks, we will be posting a jeans drive for students experiencing homelessness through Teens for Jeans. Almost 40% of people experiencing homelessness in the United States are under 18. One item they commonly request in homeless shelters is a pair of jeans. Why? Jeans are comfortable in any season and can be worn multiple times between washes. Plus, for a teenager without many belongings, wearing a pair of jeans can provide a sense of normalcy. We'd like to welcome you to the largest youth-led denim drive ever, with high schools across the entire country participating. Bonus, if our school collects the most jeans, our school could get a $10,000 grant. The drive will start soon and it will run until the end of February. You can drop gently worn jeans off in room 224 starting next week. So start pulling out your old jeans and give your closet a makeover today for yourself and for the greater good. In the United States, the month of February is observed as Black History Month or National African American History Month. And we use the month to remember the important contributions and achievements of African Americans throughout our nation's history. On February 13, 1965, Malcolm X's home in New York City was bombed. He and his family were not hurt, so he kept his commitment to speak elsewhere. This proved, however, to be his last public appearance. One week later, on February 21st, Malcolm was killed as he began to give a presentation in Harlem. He was known for his catchphrase, by any means necessary.